Hello and welcome to a tour of Norelius Hall, also known as Coed. So this video will talk about an actual room in Coed, all of the building's amenities, how close it is to nearby buildings on campus at Gustavus, and I hope you find it helpful. So really quick, the building is known as Coed because Norelius is hard to pronounce and it was the first residential hall on Gustavus to be co-educational and have men and women. This is a map of Gustavus' campus. I know this image has a lot of detail, so I've linked more information with a map of Gustavus in the description. But in this image, Norelius is located in approximately J4. Here is a satellite map of campus and the blue dot is Coed. Since Coed is really close to the athletic facility, which is called Lawn Center, typically athletes will live here, but it's not just athletes, anyone can live in Coed. It's also important to note that Coed is a freshman or first year housing facility. You can probably see the parking lot on the left of Coed, so that means that the walk from Coed to the campus center is around three minutes. Coed has four floors and houses around 400 students. As of 2023, the other freshman housing building is Sori Hall, which is farther away from most of campus, but it does have sinks in the rooms, which is nice. This video is me entering Coed, and just like in any other residential building on campus, you need your ID to get in. There is one elevator in Coed and three sets of staircases. You can also see the elevator and the flights of stairs, as well as the sections in this map. So now heading down to the laundry. So there are two rooms to do laundry in Coed. One is in the H tower and one is in the C tower. And in this one, under the H tower, there are five drying machines and four washing machines. Typically, they're not too busy. Okay, and then this video takes us through the pit. Uh, this area you can connect your computer. Typically Macs will work and project it. Then in this area there is seating where students can hang out or do homework. And then we've got a foosball table, ping pong table, dartboard, etc. Then that's one of the staircases right ahead. And then we'll walk over and on our left here is another student area where students can hang out or do homework. There's plenty of seating options in there. My friends and I sometimes will play cards in here, or it also works as a study space. There also is an open area like this on the second floor. One of them you can hang out in, and one of them that looks similar to this with desks is only reserved for quiet study. And now we're gonna walk over towards the shared kitchen. Right there is a water fountain. There is a water fountain on every floor with a water bottle filler, which is really nice. And then over here we've got the shared kitchen with a microwave. Sometimes whenever I make microwave popcorn, I'll make it in here so it doesn't make my room smell. Then there's a toaster, community fridge, oven, stove, sink, and there's also some shared cooking devices like pots and pans. Okay, so now we're walking through a pod. This is a women's pod and there's 22 students living around a common shared living space with one CF, which is similar to an RA, and that means collegiate fellow. A lot of people really enjoy this pod style of living because you can socialize in the common area and meet people in your pod. And here I've got a video of a bathroom. So this one has two toilets, two sinks, as well as a shower. Um, one interesting thing is that there's only a compost in the bathroom so that we can compost the paper towels as part of Gustavus' sustainability initiatives. And right next to it, there's also a single bathroom, which is really nice. Um, I don't think most pods have a single bathroom, but this one does. So next we'll take a look at an actual room, but one quick thing to note before we do that is that you can check the dimensions of your room specifically on the Norelius Hall website. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at my room. So the first thing to note has to do with the beds. So my roommate and I both opted to have our beds on risers. Uh, a lot of people also chose to go for the full loft, but with the risers, we still have a lot of space under the beds. As you can see, here's what I have. 
And then my roommate has some Snapple and Gatorade under her bed. And here's a closer look at the risers. So there's these knobs in there. And make sure that if you decide to use the risers, that you bring a hammer on move-in day so that you can move the bed. All beds in co-ed should have the ability to rise, but if they don't, my friend who moved in early for cross country, hers didn't, and she was able to ask ResLife to swap hers out. So all beds should have risers if you wanna use them. So I have a mattress topper on my bed, but with the beds that were given by Gustavus and the bed risen to its highest, my bed is 39 inches in the air. It is 36 inches in width and approximately 80 inches in length. And the mattress that Gustavus provides is six inches tall. Next up, the desk is 41 inches across and about 23 inches from front to back. And it's about 30 inches tall. It also has all of these drawers. So this one slides out and then this one and this one. Mine are a little messy, just the everything drawers in there. And this one is bigger. So those provide some nice storage space. Gustavus does provide the option to buy a fridge or microwave from bedloft.com, but I chose to use some extra ones that my family had laying around. The wardrobe is about six feet tall, 34 inches wide, and 23 inches deep. All right, and then here's a look inside my wardrobe. So in here, I have I counted 65 hangers and so that fits and then I've got a bin up there. I can fit six sweatshirts up here, two of them are in the laundry. Then I've got two bins there um, to make more space. Then I can fit 12 sweatshirts in this drawer and then this next drawer is the same size but then I have pants down there. And one more quick note with the bed, twin XL sheets do fit. With all of the dimensions and measurements, I do have those listed in the description as well, if that would be helpful. One other thing I wanted to note about the room is where the plugins are. So if you take a look down here, there is a plugin in there, but it's hard to see. It's about two feet off of the ground. There's also a plugin um, back there, it's behind that, and both of those are double sockets, and then there's also one under my roommate's bed right there, and that's what mine looks like as well, you just can't see it. Another thing to note about the room is that there is no air conditioning in co-ed, but there is air conditioning in the halls, just not in the room. So my roommate and I found that keeping our door open as much as possible when it was really hot this fall helped with that and keeping fans running all the time. And now it's winter, it's a little chilly. So I'll show you what our heating looks like. So we've got this um, knob and then the heater is back behind my roommate's bed there. One other important thing to note about co-ed is that not all of the rooms are the same. So the, most of the rooms per pod are the same, but I have a friend whose floor is tile and she and her roommate have their desks on the end of their beds because their room is more like squarish and just set up differently than ours. So not all the rooms will look exactly like this. Some rooms also have the wardrobes built into the walls. Overall, co-ed is a great place to live your first year at Gustavus. It has good amenities and a great social atmosphere, so I definitely would recommend living here.